Hey guys, I'm PCRepairHelp.net. We fix these laptop power jacks. Broken jacks for $69 parts and labor. And the one that came in here today has a really loose connection where you plug it in. You can kind of wiggle it back and forth. Um, just feels really floppy. Uh, when you try to pull it out there or remove it, it just falls out by itself. Um, it should be a nice, snug, tight fit inside there. It shouldn't feel loose at all. And if you just wiggle it back and forth, you can kind of make that connection and the connection goes in and out, back from battery to AC adapter, back and forth. Um, but it's just, you know, obviously loose. It shouldn't be like that at all. It should be a nice, like I said, snug, tight fit, like when you first bought it. And so usually the steps on most of these laptops is you're gonna wanna remove some type of bottom panel. In this case, this Dell has a large bottom panel that you just need to remove the screws on this one. So these first three screws on top just stay in. Um, you still need to unscrew them, but they don't actually come out of the bottom case. This is something that these dent, uh, manufacturers do sometimes too. And then the rest of the screws, uh, the, all eight of those, are going to actually come out of the bottom. So you just want to get those removed. And once you've removed all the screws, you can take a pry tool. Um, in this case, I like to use a guitar pick. It's a pretty thin space in between that bottom panel and uh, what needs to pry up there. So, um, you know, you can use a guitar pick as a good, but any pry tool, you know, should work. Um, just provided it's not too thick in the case of this specific laptop. Um, and then I realized here that I actually forgot to unscrew one of the screws. And I use a little bit slightly bigger guitar pick sometimes too. Once I get the initial tabs to pop up, I'll take a little bit bigger guitar pick or pry tool and, and go under there again um, just to try to get those tabs to pop up so it can come off. But I just, I just try to trace around the bottom there and that usually does the trick. And once you get the bottom panel off, um, usually it's going to be just a few steps to get to that jack. In this case, you just have to remove the two screws that are holding in one of the hinges here on the jack side of it. And once you remove those two screws, you can pry that hinge up a little bit uh, to gain access to the jack. And in this case here, this is a cable style jack that plugs directly into the motherboard and is held in by the single screw that I'm removing right now. And once you remove that screw, um, you can kind of pry that little jack up and disconnect it from the, the uh, wire routing there and just unplug it. And there's no real physical damage on this thing that's incredibly obvious, but it's just a really loose connection, so so it needs to be replaced. And so here's, a, here's a, the new one I'm about to install. Same jack, just a brand new, brand new one. And you just want to put it back in the way it came out. Um, you're going to plug that little connection in there and just make sure it's seated nice and snug and then you can reroute that cable. There's some little tabs that are a little route for the cable so just make sure you put it back inside there. You don't want that hinge crimping down on something and, and damaging it. So just put it back in the route that it came and then you want to screw that jack back in obviously. Um, you know sometimes if what the jack is screwing into there is broken you can use some gel super glue. I've done that over the years where you try to go screw it back in, but what you're screwing into is broken too. And the best way to remedy that is to replace the whole bottom case, but sometimes the, the cost of that and you know getting the part and all that is kind of a pain, so you can actually glue them back into place. I'll have another video on that another time. And right here I'm just making sure that cable is routed correctly so that hinge doesn't, doesn't go down on it and damage something. And you just want to put the other two hinge screws back in here. And now we can put our bottom panel back on. And just push down on the bottom panel all over the sides there so you make sure those tabs get locked back into place. and then everything can be screwed back into place there.
And so now when I plug this thing back in, that connection is rock solid, very snug fit, very tight. You see the little charge light come on there. So now we got power back to the computer again. So it just went from no life at all, loose connection to nice snug fit and the power restored to it. And just pressing the power button, it comes on. And this one was another successful repair. If you guys have any questions, you can call, email, leave a comment. Please like, subscribe. I'll be adding more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching.